リーグチャンピオンシリーズ進出をかけたドジャースとパドレスの最終戦先発の山本由伸投手が5回を63球に安打と0点に抑え打線ではキケ・ヘルナンデス選手とテオスカー・ヘルナンデス選手が好投していたダルビッシュ投手からそれぞれホームランを放ち2対0でドジャースが勝利しリーグチャンピオンシリーズ進出を決めました試合後 FOX スポーツの番組でエロットとジーター・トールティズが試合を振り返りその後デーブ・ロバーツ監督が番組に参加しこの勝利の喜びを表していました You know, this was a little old school, a little pitcher's duel here, right? I mean, only six total hits in the game. Dodgers pitching the last three games in this series, really since inning two of game three. Lights out. Hey, B, it's hard to really understand for the folks at home the electricity in this building,、uh. but it is an old school game. Great pitching, great timely hitting by the Hernandez brothers, and a quick two and a half hour game. Fun to watch. Unbelievable. Both of them pitchers were outstanding. You Darby make a couple of mistakes. And they make him pay, but I think he pitched outstanding. And Yamamoto was wow, unbelievable. You were asking for three innings. He gave us five. He gave us five, so that was outstanding, man. Yeah, no one expected San Diego to come out here and get two hits and not score any runs, at least no one at this desk. So you talk about the old school starters have to go deep in the game. They proved us all wrong. You know, we were sitting there when they took Yamamoto out, we were saying it was a mistake because, you know, you just let him ride it out as long as he can, but. Hey, this is the Dodgers blueprint. You think about this series where we were, right? After game two, the Padres hit six home runs, a record, and then they scored six runs in the second inning of game three. That was enough. They held on for a 6 5 win. They didn't score since that point, Derek. I mean, I, you said it, no one expected it, but it, it's like, what happened to the well, offense? Well, let's, let's be clear about w h a t Good pitching beats good hitting a majority of the time, right? What hitters like to do is they, they pounce on mistakes from pitchers, and most pitchers make mistakes over the course of a nine inning game. But you got to give it to the Dodgers, not only their starters, but their bullpen. They didn't make very many mistakes. I also have to say this. That last game that they play at San Diego, that was not a good sign. I score less at home with the home crowd behind you and you facing the bullpen.、Mm. There I was a little confused coming into this game. Dave Roberts is echo what you said, Alex. Went eight more ball games, but you want to talk a team. I remember after, after game three, we're like, man, Dodgers have TBD going to try to save their season. Well, TBD, the Dodgers bullpen, did a pretty amazing job the last couple nights. I got, I got to tell you, fellas, Captain, I don't know about you and Poppy, but I'm tired of hearing that Dave Roberts' job is at risk. I mean, this is maybe the toughest job in all the sports. You got a great front office, great ownership led by Mark Walter and Todd Bowley, but you have heavy media, heavy expectations. And dealing with a TBD, whatever that is, he's done a fabulous job, not only in that game, but tonight he pressed every button the right way. Here comes Dave Roberts. <laughs> Speaking of Titans, my man, my man. Go keep it. Damn! This is a great year! Oh my God. Wow! Talk about the goats! Oh, baby. Berkey, how the heck do you hang out with these good looking I, goats? I'm lucky. I am、yeah. lucky. <laughs> Big day. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, Happy for you, man. Hey, Dave,、oh, I, I think three of us, we want to be your agent because we're looking for an extension. w h a t did I say? Show me the money. You know what I'm saying? Pay the man. Hey, man, what? You know, I, I know it feels good and I know how positive you are, but how did you keep these guys positive after game three? How'd you, you do、what? it? You know what, Berkey? I think for me, It was trying to get a different mindset. And I think that you guys heard me a lot throughout this postseason talking about fighting, take the fir- or make the first punch.、Uh, it's going to be a brawl. And I think it's just that mentality because in the regular season, you're playing methodical, but in the postseason, you got to be ready to brawl. And I think that our guys took that mindset and went out there and won a fight. And those guys gave us everything we had. Clearly, a very talented team, but. You know, we weren't going to be denied this series. Dave, I love what you were telling your guys. We heard it, where you were saying how much you believe in them and how much they believe in each other. 
I love how some of them kind of got together eight hours and started watching video of the NL West. It seemed like a very prepared group, and you guys seem very bonded. You guys ready for the next level with this team, obviously? We're ready for the next level. And obviously, the Mets are playing great baseball. Uh, we know those guys can be fun to go into New York, but I will say that any message that a coach or a manager can say pales in comparison to what the message from player to player. And those guys believe in one another, so they have one-off meetings. Miggy Rowe, Kike is obviously He's like these two guys in the postseason, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like taking the lead, and you never know who's going to be a star in the postseason, but these guys band together. Well, Dave, two things. One, first of all, you know how I feel about you as not only a manager, but as a person. And I've said it before, when, when you're a manager in a big market, it's really a no-win situation. You take all the blame when a team loses, and you don't get any credit when a team wins. And I said before this game, your job is to put your players in a position to succeed, which they did today. That's the first comment. So congratulations to you. Second one is, how much time do you take to enjoy this one before you turn your mind to the New York Mets who are coming here? So you know what, Gene? I, I, I am going to finish my cigar. Uh, I'm going to have a first growth uh, Bordeaux. And uh, I'm gonna, we're going to have a workout tomorrow. But I'm going to enjoy the heck out of tonight. Because if I can't enjoy, we can't enjoy wins. What the heck are we doing exactly. this for? Because to your point, I just think I feel good about kind of taking all the, what do they say? Big trees catch big wind. So that's OK. That's the market. I signed up for this. But geez, I'm just so proud of these guys. And you know whether it's like the godfather himself, Joe Torre, how much he loved you guys, how much Tito loved you and our guys. That's right. And it's like for me, it's like I said, I've never been more proud of a group. I really haven't. So send me the address. Where am I meeting you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> send me the address. Where am I meeting you tonight? I'm going to drink some good Bordeaux, man. <laughs> hey, Dave, congratulations. First of all, congratulations, brother. Knowing you as a player, I can't imagine what it is to play a day for you. Mookie just said it all right here. Now, Yamamoto today. Wow. Wow. He, 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 wow. he brought me back to the World Baseball Classic yeah. tonight. That's right. What was different? You know what? The thing is, I, I think for Yamamoto, I don't think any of us can appreciate the pressure expectation on a global scale. These guys are playing for a country. And you can say the same thing about you, Darvish. What Yamamoto did tonight, he was playing bigger than the Dodgers. He's playing for, you know, the Dodgers, but also the country of Japan. And so World Baseball Classic, he's pitching big ball games. And from that first pitch, 97, he was locked in. And I had a lot of questions earlier, how short is he, he going to go? And for me, I used my eyes, I used my gut. I trusted him. I passed, passed it on to the bullpen, and those guys made us all look really good. Yeah, no doubt about it, Dave. That pen, look, your pen was really, really good all year. But what they did, especially really since, you know, inning two in game three, just absolutely sensational. Your thoughts on their performance? Uh, I, I think the thing is that anyone who's played in the postseason, it's one of those things that once you get to the postseason, the roles don't matter. It's about pass the baton to the next guy. And Daniel Hudson is the leader in that pen. But Josh Bard, our coach, has created a culture where it doesn't if it doesn't matter if Michael Kopech comes in the third inning in San Diego to get the top of the lineup and guys follow do up downs there's no ego but you see that I love when you see that glazed look in guys you know Blake trying has that glazed look like he's not even hearing you he just sees that catcher and he's trying to go out there and throw a baseball with conviction so all those guys to a man have that Derek Jeter you know Yankee Stadium look so it's like I'm just lucky that we got great players. That's awesome. Hey, Dave, every 20 years, something special happened. 2004, we won. Oh, yeah. 2024, <laughs> homie. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. It's such a good moment. Yankee Killers. Guys, don't think about Yankee Killers. Hey, Dave, thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for stopping by. Get on out of here now. <laughs> I love that, David. <laughs> I do, guys. Uh, I'm amazed it took to that long to bring that up, but hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Dave, you're the best. Congrats. Right, we'll we'll so see you next round. Right? Dave Roberts of the Dodgers. Roberts, the Dodgers, also had a lot of pressure on the team to make a lot of pressure on the team. The pressure was very strong and the pressure was very strong. The pressure was very strong and the pressure was very strong. The pressure was very strong and the pressure was very strong. The pressure was very strong. 素晴らしい痺れた試合になることを期待します。